welcome to my 5,000 subscriber video. I'm going to be doing this in a normal voice because I don't want you to miss a single word. Today we have some spicy fried chicken nuggets doused in creamy cheese and some sweet corn and salad. If you've never had hot cheese on salad, you're missing out. It's really good. I wanted to thank everybody for your amazing questions. I've been receiving a whole bunch of them. Let's start with Chelsea and Hafiza's question. What do I do for a living? Well, I'm a high school teacher and I teach math. And for the last few years, I've been teaching geometry, algebra, and algebra too. Sometimes I get the question what my age is. So before I tell you, I want you guys to guess down below in the comment section because you can't unknow something once I tell you. It's gonna affect what you think. Am I married? I'm married. Do I have children? Mm -mm. No children, just a fur baby. A dog. I got a whole bunch of questions about who's my favorite ASMR artist, who's my favorite mukbanger, why did I start, who inspired me, why did I choose to make these videos. Well, I've been following Sassy Snacks for a long time and she makes ASMR videos. You can tell that she's smart and she's also pretty funny too. I also follow Eat With Chunky because I like how she keeps it real and she's pretty positive too. Um, I really enjoy whispering mukbangs and once I get to know them I don't even care if they whisper or not I just like their personality so the reason why I started my YouTube channel is because these ASMR artists inspired me I'm a teacher by trade so I love instruction I love showing sharing explaining um, presenting um, and at the same time, I love cooking, so I wanted to combine these two passions. As an added bonus, I found out that I enjoy filming and processing the clips, making it interesting to the audience. And I love sharing stories. You get to meet a lot of different people across the world who watch your videos. And that was sort of unexpected and amazing at the same time. Another question that I got was, will I ever do a full face mukbang? At this very moment, I'm undecided. I kind of like being anonymous. <laughs> Yoshi sent me this question. What are your biggest pet peeves when watching Mukbangers ASMRs? So, my biggest pet peeve is when I can't see the food. <laughs> like the angle of the camera doesn't really allow me to like really enjoy the beauty, the beauty of the food. So that's a pet peeve, but also when Mukbangers have bad grammar. It makes it difficult to enjoy listening to them.
T's Beauty and Tantakare sent me the question, do my family know? Am I afraid of people finding out? And I have to say, I haven't gone out of my way to tell them what I'm doing. It just hasn't really come up and I don't bring it up. But my husband knows. And I kind of think that this trend of eating shows is kind of like online dating. Because 10 years ago, 15 years ago, online dating was kind of frowned upon. It was thought to be just for losers who couldn't find a real date on their own in real life. And now, with the invention of apps and all these dating websites, it's completely normal to meet your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend online. And I think that's how eating shows will become in, in the next five or 10 years. We're just on the cusp of change. Mm. Chelsea asked, where do I live? And what's my favorite country? So I live in Los Angeles, California, United States. And my favorite countries or country is France. Um, but a recent trip to Germany has kind of been changing my mind. Germany was really amazing. Stephanie and Caroline asked, what's my favorite food, favorite drink, favorite cake, favorite candy? So my favorite food is Vietnamese food, hands down. I love all the soups and grilled meat, all the fresh veggies. Just, I could eat it every day, forever. But I also like junky American food, like fettuccine alfredo with lots of cheese and hamburgers, but I really try to limit myself. My favorite cake is this almond pie from France. It's called Galate de Roi. It is a king's cake, king's pie. They have it in January and it's a puff pastry filled with almond paste and they sneak a little like bean inside and it's cute for the kids they kind of can't wait to see who ends up with a bean because then they are crowned the king or queen for the day and my favorite candy is any gummy candy from Aribu so I was asked um, what is the one dish that I haven't tried that I would really love to there's this restaurant called French Laundry by, uh, it's a Thomas Keller restaurant up in Napa, California. It's high-end French cuisine. They have like a multi-course dinner. It's supposed to be several hundred dollars, like $400, and that's not even including the tip and the wine. And I would also really like to try the a modern Spanish gastronomic restaurant. There was one in Spain, but I think El Bulli closed. And what's the one thing I won't ever eat? I will never eat dogs. I love my... I have a dog, so... And do I eat foods from all around the world? Yeah, definitely. I love food. And I found this question a little bit hard because you don't know to try something if you don't know it exists. So that's another thing. Fit Angie asked me if I've ever gotten food poisoning from store-bought or fast food restaurants. I've never gotten food poisoning. I have a stomach of steel. I've eaten all around the world. I eat street food. No issues. <laughs> Luckily. Oh, Joanna Lee asked me what's my favorite movie. My favorite foreign film is Amelie Poulain. My favorite American film is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind with Jim Carrey and Drew Barrymore. I found it so beautiful and sad at the same time.
Nura asked, what qualities do I like to see in other people? What attracts me to other people? Well, I really appreciate genuine, considerate, thoughtful, down to earth, and humorous people. I basically just described it like my best friends. <laughs> Kios, the name, asked me, how did I meet my husband? So the quick answer is, I met my husband in college through friends. But this gives me a potential story time idea. Uh, Tantakari also asked me, um, why did I marry so young? Um, I don't think I married so young. Uh, we were dating for a long time before we got married. But this also gives me a good story time idea, so I might dedicate that to an entire video. Uh, Tantagare asked me, um, did the distance affect your relationship when you were in Paris? Um, when I lived in Paris, it, yeah, it was difficult. But we're very supportive of each other's dreams. And it was my dream to live in Paris, to live in France, and also to teach. Amani and Alina asked me, what do I think about Arabs? Have I tried Arabic food? Traveled to Arabic countries? I have Muslim and Arabic friends from Morocco, Lebanon, Afghanistan. And to me, they're just like anyone else. They have hopes, they have dreams, they're kind to one another. They have love for their family and friends just as I do, just as we do. So I think they're just people. And it's unfortunate that the news is vilifying them because it's unfortunate to vilify an entire group it's a poor choice. Um, I would love to visit Morocco. Um, Lebanon after would be pretty cool. Um, my Afghani friend, she's made me some really delicious koftas, which are seasoned meatballs, basically, on the grill. I gave her mint from my garden, and she chopped them up and put them in the kofta. Um, I really like... Mm, Persian basmati rice. I really like how it's like toasted and none of the grains stick together and it's often like a pretty color, pretty yellow color. And I really enjoy flatbreads. My friend made like a stuffed flatbread with beans and cilantro. She's an amazing cook, so she should open up a restaurant. <laughs> Maria Schneider asked what are your current interests movies sports teams hobbies right now i'm obsessed with ed shan's shape of you song it's so addictive and also alessia cara's stay oh i can listen to that on repeat for like a week straight and then i wouldn't get tired of it <laughs> I don't really follow sports and my hobby is to make YouTube videos. <laughs> and these last few questions just had their own thing going. I just wanted to put them all together. Stephanie Servents asked me, what do I see myself doing in five years? I see myself still being a teacher. <laughs> what other YouTubers do I watch? I really enjoy Jenna Marbles. She's hilarious. I enjoy Sophia Nigard. She's an ex BuzzFeed employee. She's really clever. And uh, will YouTube be a full time job for me? Probably not. It's just a hobby right now. <laughs> and how long have I been making videos? I've just been making videos for two months. Basically, the beginning of this channel. Galaxies asked what language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in i think it'd be nice to be fluent in spanish i probably should say russian but 
because my husband is Russian, but Russian is so difficult. I'm just not capable of learning Russian. I know like two sentences. And what's my dream job? I'd love to be a travel TV host, something like Mark Veen's. He's so cool in how he gets to go all over Asia and eat and showcase the culture in the area. Um, what are three things I cannot live without? They would be my husband, my doggy, and my phone. <laughs> what's my biggest pet peeve in life? It's arrogance. What's the scariest thing I've ever done? Shared my life on YouTube. <laughs> oh, I skipped one from Stephanie. Do you get negative comments and how do I respond to them? I get negative comments here and there. I follow the mantra, if you've got haters, you must be doing something right. <laughs> it just means that you must be standing up for something that you believe in for people to have such a strong reaction. And I'm actually kind of flattered that they would go out of their way to write a comment down below because I mean, they're wasting their own time if they seriously just hate me. I kind of just find it funny that people would spend time on hate. Um, there was one time a guy responded like, oh, do you eat, begins with a P, ends with a Y, like that? And I wrote back, well, felines wouldn't appreciate th this type of treatment. <laughs> AF asked, what's the best thing about being a YouTuber? I'd say the people you meet. Met some really beautiful, honest people good people and the creation process it's kind of fun to direct and film your own little movie <laughs> uh where do i see myself in two years in reference to youtube still making videos here and there maybe going to bakeries or restaurants and trying their food that'd be kind of cool and finally the last question is how much money do i make through these videos well to answer I make barely enough to buy this microphone. <laughs> so I've made about 40 videos and I've made about $100. <laughs> so for all my time and effort, it's not really for the money, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on my 5K subscriber Q&A. I hope you're still back here for the 10k subscriber Q&A video. Have a wonderful day guys. Bye.